Hello, everybody. This is kind of a summary episode just showing kind of all the features we've been talking about, all these basic features. And now we're just going to get into edit, doing the basic editing on a project here. I know I've already done one episode on basic editing, how to get a clip here and down inside the timeline. But now I want to kind of bring it all together and show the whole process from the quick uh, rough assembly to the uh, to the fine tuning in your timeline, kind of bring it all together here. I've got this project and this project was actually shot specifically for that purpose, just to kind of show a demonstration of how to pull together a story and do matching and and get a story kind of all put together. So with that in mind, I will actually show a cut of this at the end, kind of with color correction and music and everything all pulled together. Uh, just like I said, very simple story, but just one that's used for uh, just showing how to do visual editing here. I'm going to open up this uh, folder that I've got here, and I'm going to grab one of these files here and generate a timeline. Just drag it over and drop it in my timeline here. And I'm going to now delete that clip out of my timeline, and I've got my timeline generated. I'm going to grab this and drag it to the left. And I'm going to arrow that folder down, and we're going to call this Movie Edit there, just so we have the, the timeline named. And now I'm going to go into assembly mode. Usually when I'm doing the quick editing at the beginning, I go into assembly mode. Then when I'm fine-tuning, I will go into editing mode. But right now I'm going to go into assembly. And what the assembly mode is for, and I mentioned this in an earlier episode, is it opens up a larger space over here for you to work with your movie clips. And it shares the same space for the program monitor and the source monitor. So when you're dropping them down to your timeline, uh, you'll see the source monitor when you double-click on a file over here in the window. And your program monitor will show what is in your timeline. So I'm going to go Option, double click on my folder and open up a separate bin folder. Go down and tell it to show thumbnails or icon view. And now I can grab this, some thumbnails make it the size that I want here. Slide those up and down and make them larger or smaller. Now my thumbnail is open, I can start doing my editing here. I'm going to go through my first shot right here. What your initial goal is, before you have anything in the timeline, is you're just going to get everything down and you're not trying to match exactly. You're going to just do approximate matching, but you're going to try to just get everything into your timeline clip by clip to kind of basically tell the story that you want to. And then your second step is going to be going into your timeline and cleaning up fine tuning and trimming and, uh, and making things shorter where necessary or longer where necessary. And just doing the fine tuning. So right now I'm going to grab my my first scene number here. I've got scene 1A. I'm going to take go take 3 because I know that that is likely the best take here. And I'm going to go to the last take here and wait for the action. And dolly action. Dolly action. I'm going to put an endpoint. So I've double clicked on the clip. I found where I want to start. Hit I for endpoint. Press play. Space bar. And right there it comes to a stop. That's probably a little further than I want it to go, but I'm going to put O for out point and period to drop it down on my timeline. Now I have that shot down on my timeline. I'm going to make sure I'm in my timeline here. Shift 3 to go to my timeline. Shift plus, I'm going to make my track height and audio height a little bit bigger there. I'm going to do plus plus. Just zoom up on this a little, little bit. Now notice my playhead is at the end of the clip. I'm going to find the next clip that I want here. My next clip is right here that I'm taking. I'm going to take take 2, get it to the beginning of the clip, double click. And let's see if we can find kind of a matching point. Yeah, here. we can't sync it, sync it. Okay. And action. So I'm gonna put I for endpoint. Oh, oh, give him a minute. The paper, action. I for endpoint. And there's our medium shot. Out point, period. Drop it in my timeline. We're gonna go over the shoulder here to this clip, the newspaper. Everything rolling, sound and everything? Yep. Get out of the shadows. And top left hand corner, up here. In point. And action. In point, after action. And down some paper. They're straight up like this. Out point, period. And now we're going to cut to the dolly shot here, where it cuts to his face here and, and does a dolly shot, revealing somebody standing at the door. So I'll double click on this one. And Okay. Scroll it. through this using the JKL keys. And Dolly. Yellow Right there where you hear Dolly being yelled. In point. Action Dolly. There we go. Out point period, drop it in. So let's take a look at what we've got here. So right now, like I said, just for the entire scene, you're going to drop clip in by clip by clip by clip, just getting everything in there to kind of tell the story. So let's take a look at what we have. We'll go to our timeline, 
Shift 3 to jump down to it. And now I'm going to hit the slash above the Enter key to show the entire timeline. I'm going to hit Home to go to the beginning. And let's play through this and see what we have so far. Okay, so we have the basic shots there telling the story up to this point. Now it is a matter of going down in the timeline and fine-tuning this pro and fine-tuning this project. So once we've done our our simple process of double clicking in point, out point, and period dropping it down to our timeline. Let's go to our timeline and see if we can fine tune this. So I'm going to go to the beginning and I'm not going to worry about audio right now. Usually you're just worrying about the visuals here if you're just telling this visuals type of story. If you're editing for dialogue, it's a bit different technique, but for this, just this kind of visual storytelling, let's see what we can do here. So first of all, I'm playing through the clip here. It opens up his newspaper. And notice this clip here, as we cut from this one to there, that's a, that's a bit of a mistake there, because here in the first shot, in the wide shot, he's got the newspaper open, and here he's got it closed, and he opens it up, but now look at this little issue here. If we cut to there where he already has the newspaper open, at this point, he's got his face turned to his right to camera left. And if we go to this shot here, after he opens up the newspaper, he's looking to camera right instead of camera left. So the way I'm going to fix that and fine tune it is by using the slip tool. The slip tool right here, we showed, we showed in a previous episode. I'm going to click on that or the shortcut for it is Y. Now we move this over the clip here. And what this does is changes this clip's in and out points without affecting the adjacent clips. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to drag to the left. And notice it opens up the windows. It opens up this window up here in the program monitor. The top left is the out point of the previous clip. And then you have the new, as I slide the, as I slip this back and forth, it changes the in point and out point that you see there on the bottom, the in point and out point of the, the new in point and out point of this clip. And then the top right hand corner is the ending frame is the end point of the next, of the next clip. So you can make sure that everything matches. So watch this right here. So notice up in the top left hand window, he's looking to the left. He's looking to camera left. And down at our end point of our clip here, of our edit, he's looking at camera right. So I'm gonna slip this to the left. With the newspaper open, I'm gonna move it, I'm moving my mouse to the left. And I'm gonna wait till he moves his head and it matches up to the left right there. And now his head, if you notice, is matching my out point of my previous frame. And I'm gonna let go. And let's play through that and see how it works. That's getting closer. Now just notice here, as it gets to the end of the clip, he looks down, and then here he's kind of looking up, and then he looks down again. So I just have to do some cleaning up to match this here, and that's not, not a problem. Now I can use my ripple and roll tools, which means I can, instead of using these tools here, I'm going to open up my trim window. I'm going to deselect everything. Control Shift A will deselect everything in my timeline. Arrow up to land on the edit. T to open up my trim window. I'm going to move my mouse over. You don't have to move, do tilde, but I'm going to just so you can see better. And I'm going to move to this previous clip here, and I'm going to ripple edit this clip's out point here. I'm going to grab it and drag it to the left because I want it kind of when this dolly just barely comes to a stop right there. And now I want to match the direction that he's looking there so I can get the ripple edit here on this clip's end point and change it. And actually, let's see. He's looking... Up, so that matches right about there. So I let go, tilde out of that, and let's see how that works. Control Shift A to make it deselect that. Shift 3, Control Shift A to make it deselect that point there. And now let's play through it and see how that works. That works, but I'm going to now use my roll edit and roll back. I want the edit to happen a little bit earlier. T, tilde over this window. I'm going to grab this in between here and make the edit happen a little bit earlier. That doesn't look like it's... Uh, that might work right about there. His head, head's kind of in the same direction there. And that'll end before the dolly. Let's see how that works there. Bring that back. Play through it. He starts to move his head just a little bit there at the end. So let's r roll that a little bit back further. Right about there. Let's try that. And that looks pretty good. 
and now we can actually shorten this clip down significantly here you got a big chunk of this clip that we want to get rid of so watch this as we play through this and it looks down at the paper i want to cut to the paper right there as he looks over i'm just going to eliminate all this waste to the right here well let's play through that see what he gets he turns the page one more time, but you see him turn it on another one, so we probably don't want to see that twice. It's very boring. So as we play through this, I'm going to play through it and decide where I want the edit to happen. Right there he looks down, and I stopped it. And now to cut all this off to the left here, I, I mentioned that you can use Q to cut to ripple everything to the left, and W to, to ripple everything to the right. So if I hit W, it's going to cut, delete this, and ripple edit everything to this point right there. So watch this as I hit W. It just ate everything to the right there and cut it off. And Q does it the opposite, to the left. Right there's plenty, because we don't need to see really what he's looking at, because it's a lot of stuff here. So I'm going to shorten this up as well. So let's play through this and decide where we want our edit to end. Maybe right there it settles in a little bit. Now I want to eliminate all that waste to the right. So once again, I hit W and it eliminates it. And then it cuts to the next clip. Action dolly. And I want this to, and I want this clip to cut in right when the dolly starts. So let's arrow back to the, arrow up and go to the previous edit here. And I'm going to arrow through this. <laughs> right where the dolly barely starts moving and hit Q and eliminate the waste to the left. Let's play through this and see what we've got so far. And that works pretty well. So that is basically the process. What I recommend doing once again, when you're editing a scene, is uh, put it in assembly mode, and you're going to basically be finding your first shot, and you'll drop just the portion that you need down inside your timeline. Find the next shot, drop that portion down into the timeline, and you're going to drop the basic clips that you need down into your timeline to tell the story in the order that you need to have them, have them be shown. And then after that, you're going to go down inside of your timeline and start doing the trimming. You're going to be doing ripple and roll editing. You'll be using slip and slide you'll be using your trim tool as we showed where you bring your trim window up and just getting everything to match and making sure that, that the pacing goes by well and that you're not having to rest on shots for too long and you'll just have to kind of organically feel your way through the, the pacing of the scene to, to see what works. In later episodes, I will be getting into more advanced uh, dialogue editing and showing how to do dialogue editing and action editing. But for this episode, I just wanted to kind of show something that shows everything kind of come together for the, the tools that we've been teaching. And now just for the end, I'm going to play this uh, a quick edit of this that one of our students did, uh, just to kind of show how this kind of all, all can pull together. And if you go down under the description, I have provided a Google Drive link where you can download this footage if you want to use it to practice your own editing. So go for it and have fun.